John Rich was just interviewed by the one and only Tucker Carlson on his new song, Revelation, featuring Sonia Isaacs, which is cool because my first name is Isaac. Hi. Last name is Isaacs. I've never seen it plural before. But guys, welcome back. I'm Isaac. This is David. What's up, guys? And we are excited to react to this song. Apparently, it's gone viral, and it's a faith-based song about Revelation, uh, last book in the Bible. So we'll see what's what's cracking with it. I mean, you brought this up. I have no idea. Yeah, I, mean, I it haven't could seen be horrible. this. We, it I could be great. We don't know. I haven't seen this. I haven't either. So he just said, let's react to it. So I'm... It's a blind reaction. I've never, never blind. seen this. All right. <laughs> let's go. Uh. Oh, yeah. I like the guitar. Let's go. Dancing in the flames, the people cursed his name, bowed at the altar of the father of lies. But there's a number to their days, and all their evil ways. The Lord's gonna turn away from all their cries. So he's saying Jesus is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and this world is very evil. I mean, I like I like it so far. Uh it's not like the lyrics are good. It's it's like a typical country faith song. Yeah, it's country just saying there's a lot of evil, but the king is coming. <laughs> you don't seem super excited about it. I mean, it's I mean, I like uh, again, I'm not a huge and country guys, guy. Guys, don't kill us in the comments, okay? Yeah. We're only a I'm minute not, into the it, song. Yes. It could get a lot better. I don't mind it so far. It's not my cup right, of tea. So pull up the lyrics. You follow along with the lyrics. <laughs> I mean, it's a country guy. I understand what he's saying. But we'll give our more bigger synopsis in the big in the end. Yeah, I don't um, want to judge a book. But I, I like the sound of the music. I'm not a big country guy. So we'll see if uh, this impresses me. <laughs> It looks cool. Yeah, I like it. Brimstone upon their heads, millstones around their necks. They'll feel shaken when the trumpet sounds. And no matter where they hide, there'll be nowhere to run. When Jesus puts his mighty foot on the ground. <laughs> Oh, the king is ripped. Yo, that guy is jacked. <laughs> that dude is jacked. Is that supposed to be Jesus? Uh, it, was, it says the king is coming back again, which would be Jesus, yes. That is a ripped Jesus. So That is a ripped white Jesus. That's a ripped white Jesus. I will say, I mean, I I was not expecting that. <laughs> After the opening <laughs> Honestly, scenes at the church. With the CGI started. <laughs> it's what? like as soon as he walks into the church, it's a different lighting setup. Yeah. I mean... It was in the day when he was filming outside, but as soon as he goes into the church, it gets dark, and then there's light flashing from inside, and then all of a sudden, it's like the CGI outside, <laughs> boom, the king has appeared. Well, first it was a horse. Yeah, it was, it was actually uh, pretty cool. I got to keep watching this. Sorry, guys, for the lack of critique yet. Yeah, it's not really much for critique yet. Dude, it's Jack. Oh... Oh, it's not Jesus, that's an angel.
Okay, so what I get out of this is so this far, like Dragon Ball Z? He has a fire no, uh, ball. So that, like, what I what I get out of this again, this is my first time listening to it. I need to probably see the lyrics to do it justice. It's the end of times where it's good versus evil, evil. going at it. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually supposed to represent Jesus. I didn't know he would come in with wings. Again, <laughs> the book of Revelation, if you biblical scholars out there, yeah, correct yeah, yeah. me. I'm not, but it's not the end of times that it is evil versus good. Yeah. We are living in a time now where it's evil versus good. Yeah. And it says in the Bible that at the end of times, that which is per- which is good will be perceived as evil, evil. and that's what that which is evil will be perceived, perceived as good. good. And so it does represent our society now where yeah. things that are evil that have always been classified as evil are now being classified as good. And Christians are being persecuted, not necessarily but like back in the day where you would die. But if you have a belief system, it can be tough for you to get a job. You might be completely canceled just because of what your beliefs are, yeah. even, especially if you're a Christian. So that's what I'm getting out of this, that we're in a age where it's now good versus evil. The end of times say there's going to be a battle of good versus is evil yeah so i really don't have anything else to say right i need now. to f- yeah we kind of i want to see it. how this ends because the dude has a fireball in his i know head. i feel like i'm watching a movie and i need to see how the movie <laughs> ends so let's see Those lights are cool. Yeah. So wrote the prophet John before his days were done. The king is coming and it won't be long. So from the way that the angel was looking up, it was showing, and they keep saying the king is coming and they even looked up. It's a representation of good versus evil. That's what that's what I get. It. So the king is coming. I mean, they, they, so that's talking about Jesus coming back. Correct. Right. So, so it's yeah, the book times, of Revelation when the king is coming back. Good versus evil is fighting. I, re, I see that as this is what's happening in what the you, world now. What did you think of the CGI? The CGI was kind of cool. Yeah. Again, it was a little cheesy, but I kind of I mean, liked this it. guy doesn't have any, apparently he doesn't have any record labels. He's very similar. He's like a Christian, uh, not Tom McDonald because he's not a rapper. Yeah, yeah. But he's very much so did all of this on his own. He spent a ton of money on it, apparently. I mean, that was pretty cool CGI. Yeah, CGI was good. The lighting in the church was I think my the biggest thing about this song is just how unexpected it was. <laughs> Because you start out with this shot. Again, I'm a filmmaker, if you guys don't know. So yeah. I see things from a very critical eye of everything from lighting, movement, acting, directing, writing. I, I For the longest time, I couldn't watch a movie mm. without actually having subtitles on. Yeah. And the reason being is because I was so infatuated with how it was created that I couldn't tell what was happening in the story. But as the scene comes, he's just in the beginning of a church. His plan, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a nice country song. Walks in to the building, lights change. There's red from the left, light, white light from the right, dark room. Yeah. And then when he comes out, it's already nighttime. Yeah. But it shows the guy with the horse coming up that represents evil. Mm. And then out of nowhere, boom, light comes out. And it's this guy that's just jacked out of his mind. <laughs> and with this sword. Yeah. And at first, I'm thinking, is, is he talking about Je- that being Jesus? And then he has wings. It's so and then un- he has wings. I'm so confused, man. And then he has wings. And so, again, what I get out of this, light light versus dark. Yeah. That's the, that's the world we live in, guys. So you can either speak truth. Yeah. You can be part of the light or you can create conflict in the world and be part of that which is evil so you kind of have to choose your side are you going to be on the side of light or dark i really wasn't expecting that i was i don't know what else to say i was <laughs> not expecting that no it was bro. a good song i think it's 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 definitely a, a timely song with where we're at as a country right i agree now because the world the world is on fire i mean it's just so crazy what's this, happening this guy got on tucker carlson bro yeah i mean he must be a well-known person oh i mean that was I'm curious what you guys think. Yeah, let us know what you think. Let in us the know comments. what you think because I don't know what to think of it. I need to watch it again. Yeah, I mean, we are as most Christians that I know. They when I when we hang out, we talk about you know about the Bible and everything. They're talking about how 
the Bible talks about this being close to the end of times. Yeah, spiritual there's warfare no way is a big for, trending There's no way right for us really to know. It could be a thousand years. It could be 20,000 years. Um, there's a lot of different beliefs could be on tomorrow. the end of times. It could be tomorrow. We don't know. Hopefully you're married Nobody really then. knows, well, you, guys. As you've said, you know, you want to be married before I do want to get married, yeah, so for Jesus, obvious reasons. Just don't come back for Isaac, you know. Yeah, or don't come back. Don't come back for <laughs> Isaac. Don't come back until hey. Isaac is married. <laughs> Little wrong way of saying that. But <laughs> what did you guys think? It was a very different kind of video. I'm going to have to watch it again. <laughs> I did not expect that Yeah, let us all. know what you guys think in the comments. But we love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell notification so you're notified when we actually upload a video. But that was fun. Peace. I enjoyed it. Peace. Peace. Peace.